Good on guys, welcome back to the channel for a brand new Soraya video. MLS is roughly four or five games deep into the season, so I thought it would be a good time to share the players that have had a good start to the season. Now, I'm recording this on Saturday morning, the 23rd of March, and there is some MLS games tonight, tomorrow morning, for example. So don't come at me if these players get injured or have a terrible game tonight. This is not financial advice. These are just my top picks. I think we've got nine players in total. Some of them will be more obvious than others, but let's get started. The first player we have on the list is Toronto midfielder Davey Flores. Now, the first three guys I will show you are all newcomers or basically new signings to the league. Um, so, yeah, they've had a really good start to their journeys in the MLS. And we're starting off with Davey Flores, who's 27 years old, plays for Toronto in the midfielder position. Limited price, about £20, rare, just under £100. And the one super rare, just over 0 0.1 ETH, which I had a close eye on myself. Now, he's only got 12 rare cards, for example, and 64 limiteds. He had no cards prior um, to this season, hence why he's, you know, he's low scarcity on so rare. Now, he scores. Now, we haven't got much of a sample size for this player, solely because he's only played the four games in the MLS. Now, if I just move myself over to the top of the screen here, so you guys can see um, his AA scores at the bottom right there. 38, 21, 38, and 17. A lot of tackles won. And four tackles won in that one game of 12. And a few, 21 points in terms of possession as well. I think he plays like a number six sort of position, number eight in that Toronto um, midfield. I haven't personally seen him live, if I'm going to be honest, completely honest with you guys. These are just based solely on his scores. But Davy Flores, 27 years old. Had a solid start to the season with Toronto. Next is Matty Paltolo, who plays for DC United. He is an under-23 defender until 2027. Again, another new incomer to the MLS. And this guy has got international utility as well. He did play against Wales, albeit now I think Finland are knocked out. But hopefully up and coming, he'll have some more games over the course of his career. Now, if I just thought this by MLS, you'll see his last game. Wasn't great against um, Inter Miami. I think Suarez come off the bench and completely turn that game around. So again, not very good A score in this game. Now he has a defender card on Soraya, class as defender on here. However, he does play as you can see in that centre mid or, or centre defensive mid um, situation. But again, very very good A scores. Only one clean sheet bonus. So again, those guys that are new to Soraya, defender cards do get the ten points for the clean sheet. Now the only downside to that is. When they do concede, he loses um, well, four um, per, kind of per decisive. So every time they concede, they lose four, where I think other midfielders lose two. So again, it depends if DC United are going to keep some clean sheets or not concede as many goals. Again, on the 23 to 2027, 20, very, very good start to the MLS journey. Again, in terms of price graph, he had 13 rare cards. If I just move myself down here again, 13 rare cards, 112 limited, so 21 pound roughly for limited. Quite expensive for a record 185, so maybe see if he gets a, a few bad games and maybe try and pick him up, perhaps. And, and again, Super Rare went for 0.2 again, slowly because he's under 23 until 2027. We have another DC United player up next in Aaron Herrera. Now, he is not brand new to the MLS. I believe he did play for Montreal um, previously, but he has been become the starting right back for DC United. And as you can see, he's played a lot of minutes already this season but just come back to his price graph on here you'll see 25 pound for rare card again a lot more supply for herrera over a thousand limited cards just over two pound again fairly cheapish for a super rare 0.07 is his current floor price now again to the great start to the season again all beat the first four games for dc united this year Couple of decisives again, not amazing A scores in his first and last game. Um, again, against Inter Miami, take that with a pinch of salt. Um, with Suarez and Co. Some very, very decent scores, and he will be the starting right back according to some depth charts. What I've seen. So again, if you can continue with this away games as well, which are obviously quite difficult in the MLS, and only one clean sheet decisive um, as well in the game against Cincinnati. So again, want to keep maybe keep an eye on a bit more down the down the road. Only got a contract until the end of this year. So, again, another thing to keep in mind. Only 26 six years old. Um, again, perhaps like the other previous guy we just mentioned. See how he gets on the next couple of games. It could be too late if he gets a few of these AA scores. Or perhaps, you know, see how he gets on. Monitor the player. 
um, and go from there. But that's Aaron Herrera, who I'm keeping a close eye on for this up-and-coming season. Christian Arango is the first forward that we're looking at on this watch list, and he's a big chance creative monster, much like Herrera. If we just jump into Sofa score, as you can see, again, very small sample size of just four games. Big chance created. He is up there in the kind of kind of top spot. And Lucas behind him, Aaron Herrera, who plays right back, who we just mentioned a moment ago. And in terms of key passes, I believe he's second in this one. And Bianca Costa, so again, very high on that list at the same time as well. Now, as a forward card, he did very well last season. I think he had a goal and assist in every other game, which is which is very impressive for a forward forward card. Again, age not too bad, 20, 29 years old. Contract until 2026. In terms of price, over £150 for rare card, £20 for limited. And again, in terms of super, which I know some of you guys might be looking at in this current market, um, just over 0.25 if you're in. Again, look at your scores, very decent. Again, I haven't watched too much of Raul Salt Lake, especially now Pablo Ruiz has got injured um, for the rest of the season, so we won't be paying too much um, attention to this team. But again, look at his A scores, 16, 22, 11. In a five there, not ideal again because Inter Miami or beat. For a striker, guys, for a forward card on Sorare, anything over 10, in my opinion, it is brilliant. Anything over 15 is out, is outstanding, in in my opinion, especially. But again, if he gets a decisive, if more than capable get over 70. Hopefully this season can push on and get those to 80s if he can really improve his game. A lot of big chance created, and that's Christian Arango. Next player to look at is on for Ale. Um, Galaxy, a newcomer to the league. Now, he hasn't had any new season cards as far as I'm aware at the moment in time. So, he's only got his Genk cards, and that's Josie Paint still. I won't delve too much into this player, solely because I'm pretty sure you know who this guy is. New signing for Ali, Ali um, Galaxy, Ali International. Um, very, very good scores in terms of AAs as well. And it's his first season in MLS, so I think he'll only get better. Again, I won't spend too much time um, on paint still, just because I think you guys will know him. And similar to this guy as well, I'm going to show you next, is on the 23 player in Aidan Morris. But again, if you are looking for on the 23 midfielder, you've got Almada, for example. Um, but I think Aidan Morris is up there, is maybe the second best. But again, just hard to start of the season he's had, to be completely honest with you guys. If you tune into MLS, the last, let's say, three months, just look at those scores. Very, very good scores in terms of AA. And if I just move my... Uh, big head out of the way. Underscoring there of a goal. Again, these are probably more obvious shout outs. That's why I'm trying to be a bit quicker on these ones. But Aidan Morris is well up there, in my opinion. If you need an under 23 player for your limited collection, if you're limited gallery salary, um, all your rare kind of cards, and this sort of price is very decent. Now, the only downside with Morris is he could potentially move in the summer, like Almada, for example. He played for the MLS for the American national team, I should say, at the same time as well. Again, under 23 until 2026, loads of utility there. I'm not sure who moves on in from the crew in, in the summer. I'll have to wait and see. But he is probably the second best on the 23 player behind Almada in the MLS. Um, yeah, maybe quit me from wrong there. But I really like Aiden Morris. I've seen a lot of crew this season. I think he's a top, top player in the MLS. The next player is probably the biggest point out of the whole video, so please do your own research, especially on Joseph Rosales as well. The reason why he's the biggest punt on this video is so because we don't know if he's going to be the starting left-back centre midfielder this season. Look at his depth chart. Um, again, big shout out to um, Surrey USA for this. As you can see, he is not in the left-back position on here. And in fact, he's number three in the number six position um, on the MLS um, depth chart as well. So again, please do your own research on all these players, but especially um, Josie Rosales as well. But again, massive shout out because solely because he had a great start to the season. I did try and check why I missed this game before the video. I couldn't find any information anywhere. Any experts, especially from Minnesota United, let me know in the comment section below. Now, last season, he did play a lot of games at left-back and centre midfield, I believe. But more of like a rotational sort of player. International utility as well, which is great. Again, very good start to the season in terms of his A scores, 28, 27 and 24. Again, being at left-back. But he is a midfielder card when it comes to Sarah. £21 for rare card. Just under £2 for limited card. Again, please do your own research, um, especially on this player. Um, next up is more of an obvious choice, and that's Insigne. 
The reason why highlighting this player, I do own a forward card. I just believe he's back to back to his best now, if you can say that. I've watched a few games from Toronto this season, I've seen a few highlights. Very, very good start to the season in terms of A and a couple of goals at the same time as well. But I just feel like he can be consistent in getting you know, over 20 A scores. And that should be his norm, especially for Insigne in the MLS. When he first went there as well, there was big hype about him in the MLS. And he's never really kicked on, except for this start of the season here. So you've got 80s. As I mentioned towards the start of the video, having a 40 with you know AA scores of over 15, 20. As you can see, his average is 16.5 in the MLS. I think value-wise, he's okay. He is 32 years old. He was linked back to Italy in, in the winter transfer window, so whether they, they will return back in the summer, who knows? And um, beware, I think he has, oh, he has four midfielder cards, so that's not too bad. But the rest, especially his new end of season ones, I believe are all forward cards. So, yeah, big shout out to Insigne, one of the better forwards, in my opinion, in the MLS. Last but not least, we have Mark Delgado. Again, probably a bit more of an obvious choice for LA Galaxy. You can build a pretty decent LA Galaxy stack as well, if we just kind of segue. Um, into this team here, Yamani, for example, Ricky Pooge, Delgado, you've got um, Paint Sill, um, Jolovich as well. You've got quite a decent teams there as well um, in terms of his staff. But um, coming back to um, Delgado, 28 years old, contract on 2024. This is one of the guys that I had on my watch list at the start of the season. You just about can't see the little heart next to that icon there, but I do have him on my watch list. Again, last season wasn't wasn't amazing, wasn't wasn't terrible against a few decent decent scores in terms of AA, but a very good start to the season, none of left this season. Four games in, score of you know, average score there about 20 AA, 25 AA, which is not too bad at all for the midfield. Again, probably rushing this one a little bit more as well because I'm pretty sure you all know this guy. Um, limited price, six pounds. I think it's an absolute bargain, in my opinion, for um a limited midfielder. Of his caliber, fifty pound roughly for a rare price, and again, there's no surprise on the market as well. But again, very decent player, very good all-round score sort of player. I think he is locked in in terms of um, starting position now as well. I believe from LA Galaxy again, do your own research. But if you can get the lights down to here again, it has to be my big head of the way. There's some decent dicey scores there. The only problem is he's not on any set pieces, as far as I'm aware. But, you know, with the likes of Paint Cell now, for example, you like to think. Um, LA Galaxy will improve um, this season. But that's it for me, guys, for this video. If you have enjoyed it, um, I'm going to move myself back, back down to the bottom right-hand corner here. If you have enjoyed the video, guys, drop it a like. If you're new around here, subscribe to the channel. And what are your, you know, what are your top picks for the MLS this season? Any, any kind of players that I haven't picked out on this video, um, let me know in the comment section below. Or any feedback on the players that I have picked, um, again, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.